This video is brought to you by, AE Juice. Get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, you can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project, you can download it from below link in the description. This complete After Effects template is available for free on my web store, link is provided in the description. Now let's see how to create this logo reveal, create a new composition, name it as logo animation. For this composition, let's set time duration to 6 seconds. Now create a new solid layer, name it as background, here you can set background color for this solid layer, or, go to effects and preset, search for fill, add fill to solid background layer, now set the background color. Now from project panel, let's add the logo to the timeline, here you can scale your logo if needed, here I will scale my logo. Perfect. Here I will add fill effect to the logo, to change its color, from black to blue. Now pre-compose the logo layer. Name it as logo. Select move all attribute into new composition. Here we will make this composition as shadow layer. Now add the fill effect to the logo composition, change the fill color as shown. Perfect, now for this logo composition, in effects and preset, search for CC Radial Fast Blur, add it to the logo composition. Now make sure you are at start of the timeline, create keyframe for center, position center as shown. Now go at 3 seconds. Change center position as shown. You can see the preview. Now at 2 seconds, create keyframe for amount. Set amount to 90. Now at near about 20 frames. Change amount to 80. Press U to view keyframes. Now at near about 2 seconds and 10 frames. Change amount to 60. You can see the preview. Here you need to change zoom to, brightest. You can see the preview. Now let's create opacity keyframes, press T to bring up opacity, now at near about 10 frames. Create keyframe for opacity, set opacity to, 15%. At start set opacity to, 0%. Now at near about 20 frames. Change opacity to, 50%. Now at 1 second, change opacity to, 80%. Now at 2 seconds, create keyframe for opacity. Now go 10 frames forward, at 2 seconds and 10 frames. Change opacity to, 0. If you want to have shadow for your logo, then set the opacity to, 40%. We will see that in later in this tutorial. Now add logo composition to the timeline. For below logo composition, change track mat to alpha inverted mat logo. You can see the preview. Perfect. 
Now for the above logo composition, press T to bring up opacity, at 2 seconds. Create keyframe for opacity, now move 10 frames forward. Change opacity to, 0%. You can see the preview. Now again add a logo composition to the timeline, for this logo composition, in effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to the logo composition, change fill color to white. Now in effects and preset, search for CC light burst 2.5. Add it to the logo composition, now at near about 5 frames. Press T to bring up opacity, we will create opacity keyframe for this logo composition. Now at start, change opacity to, 0%. Now at near about 10 frames, change opacity to, 0%. For this light bust. Change intensity to, 200. Now change ray length to, 100. You can see the light effect. Now we will place this composition at 2 seconds. Perfect. Now let's create outline layer, to do that, let's again add a logo composition to the timeline. In effects and preset, search for Vegas, add it to the logo composition, for Vegas, set segments to. 1. In rendering, set blend mode to transparent. Set color to black. Now at near about 1 second and 10 frames. Create keyframe for length. Now at start. Change length to, 0. Now at 2 seconds. Change length to, 0. Here you can see the outline, now in image contour, change channel to alpha. You can see the outline preview. Now change threshold to, 180. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for rotation, change rotation to, minus 90 degrees. Now at 2 seconds, change rotation to, 190 degrees. You can see the outline preview. Now let's change the outline width to, 4. Now press T to bring up opacity, at 1 second and 20 frames. Create keyframe for opacity, at 2 seconds. Change opacity to, 0%. You can see the preview. Here I will set width to just 3. Perfect. Now let's create our glossy logo part. Create a new composition, name it as glossy logo. From project panel, add the reflection media file to the timeline, scale it to, 50%. Now from effects and preset, search for motion tile, add it to the reflection media file. For motion tile, increase output width and height value. Select mirror edges, perfect. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for tile center. Now at end of the timeline, change title center as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now in effects and presets. Search for fast box blur, add it to the reflection media layer. Set iteration to, 1. Now set blur radius to, near about 50. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose this reflection layer, name it as reflection. Perfect. Now from project panel add the logo composition to the timeline, for reflection, change track matte to alpha matte logo. For reflection composition, in effects and preset, search for CC blob eyes. Add it to the reflection composition. 
in blowiness, change blob layer to, logo, change property to, alpha, set softness to, 5, cut away to, 0, perfect, now select both the layers, pre-compose them, name it as glossy, now add the logo composition to the timeline, place it below glossy composition, for glossy composition, change mode to, screen, now press T to bring up opacity, add 1 second, create keyframe for opacity, now add 4 seconds, change opacity to, 0%, you can see the preview, perfect, here our glossy part is created, let's add this glossy logo composition to the timeline, now press T to bring up opacity, at 5 frames, create keyframe for opacity, now at start, change opacity to, 0%, now place this composition at 2 seconds, perfect, now to have the background shadow effect, for first logo composition, press T to bring up opacity, I will set the end opacity keyframe value to, 40%, you can see the slight shadow effect. Here you are free to adjust the opacity keyframe value. Here we will change all the compositions to 3D. Now create a new camera. Now create null object change null to 3D, parent camera to null object, for null, press P to bring up position, at 2 seconds, create keyframe for position, now at start of the timeline, reduce the position value as shown, you can see the preview, Here you can also increase the end keyframe value. Select the keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect, here our clean logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.